Hey guys, somewhere in this video, I'm going to give you instructions on how to win 15 different postcards. Hello guys, I am at the 2019 Enigmatic Nomadics Van Build Fest. And today we have a very special video. This is my good deed. I've been wanting to help out for a long time and I can finally do it. All right, let me give you a quick rundown, rundown on the good deed that we are doing. We have a guy named Joe, who you'll meet at some point. Joe is uh, 71 years old. Joe has a very leaky RV roof behind me. The rig is at least 30 years old. Um, I was in touch with a company called Liquid Rubber. I said, guys, here's this cool event. It's a good deed. We can pay it forward, uh, you know, using your products. So Liquid Rubber has agreed to send down some very valuable products. Joe, could you tell me a little bit, bit about yourself and a little bit about your RV? Well, I've been a full-timer since 82. My house got ripped off in Flint the first time I worked overtime in five years. I lived in my van for three years, worked about a year in the shop. And I haven't had an RV since. Now, you ever, you ever uh, do anything to your roof uh, as far as painting it or anything? Well, I've had people try to patch it and stuff and I haven't had any success yeah uh, it's been a, an ongoing issue with me and you've been uh, it's been leaking right yes and um, badly yeah and uh, you're, you're not I wouldn't say you're uh, it's, it's on the top of your to-do list uh, to get that you know f fixed up I mean it's not like you had plans to do this right well I was hoping I could but it, I didn't think you guys coated the roofs here mm-hmm yeah well, thanks to Liquid Rubber, uh, who sent all the, this uh, stuff down here for free, we're able to uh, help you out and give you a roof patch job in the neighborhood of, if you took it to a shop, two to $4,000 for the parts and labor. So I think one place at like $1,600 or something. Yep, there you go. So guys, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna give Joe a brand new roof with the help of Chris over here from Switzerland and his dog Zeus. This is what Liquid Rubber sent along with a bunch of other supplies including scissors and rollers and every single thing that I need to be out here in the desert to do Joe this nice favor. Step one, we're going to use the uh, Liquid Rubber Smart, the RV Smart Cleaner uh, to clean the surface. It's odorless, non-toxic. Step two, we're going to use the uh, Liquid Rubber Seam Tape. This is a patch over areas uh, that are leaking or have a seam that could potentially leak. Um, I see a seam right here. Potential leak. Step three, we're gonna use the primer. And then step four, we're gonna use the RV roof coating. Um, and that is waterproof, um, solar reflective, no mixing required, uh, no solvents or VOCs. So again, thank you guys so much for agreeing to send me down some very expensive products to do a good deed, to pay it forward. Uh, to make sure that Joe no longer has a leaky roof on his RV. Uh, it is gonna rain tomorrow here out in the desert. So, without further ado, are you ready, Chris? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. <laughs> now guys, we have a special guest here helping us out. We got Jimmy from Almost Happy hey. Camper. how you doing? Uh, I just wanna show you guys, can you uh, put some, more, some fresh yep. uh, stuff it right here? here? Just wanna show you guys it rolls down quick, though. how <laughs> how good of cleaner this stuff is. Look at this. These rags were white when they started. <laughs> yeah, but look at the difference of the roof. It's just incredible. Ready to use, don't have to dilute. Let me get out of the way so, so you guys can see the full difference here. Look at that. That is good cleaner. Step two, we're gonna take this uh, liquid rubber seam tape and we're gonna look for some weak areas in here. Maybe we'll patch over those little uh, patch spots Dream here. Balls. We're just gonna put this wherever we see fit.
found herself a uh, pretty good sized hole here. It looks like in, uh, it's an exterior uh, thing that holds the lights on. So it, that's not dripping inside his rig. But just to be on the safe side, we're gonna put this uh, patch down right on top. Do a little overlay, go right over it. Use this to uh, flatten it down. We were doing the uh, exterior edge here for Joe. Joe had some serious leaks going on. This is step two. Uh, we did all around with his uh, little vent thing. He had a lot of cracks. He had a lot of cracks around here. Uh, stuff is fairly easy to, you just pull it off. It's a little hard with the nitrile gloves, so we took our gloves off. But as you can see, Chris, from Germany, sorry, Chris from uh, Switzerland. Never sorry. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy, you just put it on, you hit, slap it down, you cut it. Maybe Chris can show us how you slap it and just kind of press it into place. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joe's roof is taped from front to back, side to side, around some of the vent openings. We did a double layer in the front. We have uh, Chris helping me out with a final piece there. We actually took that off the second roll. We used two rollers, total of 100 feet for a 30 foot RV. Step three, <laughs> apply some primer. Finally finished with the uh, the primer. It is a little challenging to work with if you step in it. So just watch where you're stepping because the name liquid rubber, man, they are not they are not playing. They are not joking. It literally is liquid rubber. You can see on my hands here it is very sticky. Um, but uh, we're gonna let this uh, dry up here in the Arizona sun, and then the final step will be to use that giant five-gallon bucket of the RV roof coating. All right, here's how to win. All you need to do is tell me your experience using elastomeric paint on the roof of your RV, school bus, or van, and or send Joe your well wishes during this difficult time. I really hope to see him at the next van build. All right guys, so a couple hours later after a carne asada burrito and uh, <clears throat> a little Powerade, we're back here. You hear that? It's sticky. Now the primer uh, ends up sticky when I cold liquid rubber this morning just to verify uh, the process, the uh, steps, etc. They said, well maybe you want to do half <laughs> with the primer and then, and then put the RV top coat, uh, the roof coating on top of that and then do the other half. And I didn't quite understand why. I just thought to myself, let's do the whole thing. Now I know why. It's very sticky. If you step on it, it might pull it up. So I'm just gonna, from this uh, ladder, I'm just gonna take a nice roller and just roll it out. Uh, and then when it's dry, uh, I will stand on it and then complete the rest of it. This is what the new roof is now looking like after maybe three coats. Uh, uh, this is the end of day one. Uh, we got a lot accomplished for uh, Joe and his uh, uh, older RV with absolutely zero roof reflectivity whatsoever. Um, so we're going to continue on tomorrow and put another two to three layers on top. Got the crew we finished Joe's roof uh, with a big thank you to uh, Chris who's a huge help we also gave out a bunch of liquid rubber uh, Tamara is uh, right over my shoulder we helped out Eileen 
Uh, Jamie got one. Um, <laughs> so, Joe came back uh, yesterday. <laughs> he was ecstatic. So, you said this thing has been leaking ever since you got it? Yes, the roof has been bad for a while. Yeah. This is going to be a relief. Good. A big relief. Good. So we got a couple inches the other day, and you didn't notice any... Uh... I didn't notice any dampness on the walls. Yeah. On and, the inside. And normally you would. Normally I would. There we go. Well, so, I mean, just a testament to the products. They worked. Uh, thanks again to Liquid Rubber for supplying all the paint. Uh, I was able to pay it forward, able to do a, a good deed for Joe. He had no idea we were going to hook him up and fix his entire 30-foot RV roof. 31 foot. 31 foot. So, bring it in, Joe. All right, man. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, you guys have been great. Yeah, right on. Well, thanks. And thanks again to Chris. Thanks. Adventures of Pi and Zeus on Instagram. I'll put a link down below. All right, guys. We're on the final paint job. I did donate some extra to Steampunk Steve to sell, to help someone out. That will be on his channel. Uh, they have a large bus. Uh, what I don't know how many bus uh, rigs have we done here. We did Joe's. Uh, we gave Eileen some. We got Tamara now with a, a fully white roof. She has a little bit more of the liquid rubber RV roof coating to put on. But uh, as you can see, is it already cooler to the touch? Oh my gosh, yeah. I felt the, uh, just the, light, the tan color I have next to the white, and you can feel the difference. Yep. So it, it, it will... That's why people put this stuff on the roof. So anyways, thanks again to Liquid Rubber uh, for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for sending a giant pallet of goodies to do good deeds and and share you know the product with with people who can definitely use it so um anyways that wraps up <laughs> that wraps up this video uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh it's just a really fun day doing well fun week doing good deeds for people so we'll catch you guys in the next video